Welcome to Reimagine Nature, Salt Lake City's Public Lands Master Plan. Salt Lake City Public Lands is collaborating with Design Workshop on a citywide master plan that will identify specific meaningful projects and initiatives that align with public lands values of stewardship, livability, and equity. The master plan will establish an inspirational framework to guide how we grow and prioritize investments for the next 20 years within the four public lands divisions, trails and natural lands, city parks, urban forestry, and city golf. This map shows the extents of the public land system that includes over 70 miles of trails, over 80 city parks, 108 holes of city public golf, thousands of acres of natural lands, and 86,500 urban forest trees. This is a citywide plan and a rare opportunity to establish big ideas, long range goals, and transformative projects for our public lands. The master plan is informed by the 2019 needs assessment, which helped identify areas for improvement and public values, including that 90% of people polled think it's important for residents to live within a 10 minute walk to a local park. As next steps, the needs assessment called out that there is a real opportunity to go beyond focusing on the numbers and to address parks and natural lands as essential elements for better air quality, climate change mitigation, energy efficiency, and environmental justice. Parks and public lands can help improve the health of the city. The first window of community engagement was open from August 26 through October 14 of 2020. We made over 7,000 connections with community members through a variety of venues and collected over 4,400 responses to our digital surveys. There were a variety of pop-up and virtual events which allowed people to meet outside and socially distanced with public land staff about Reimagine Nature and provide input. These events included an ice cream food truck pop-up event, trailside snacks activities, and collaboration with the University of Utah Department of Community and Metropolitan Planning, who conducted intercept surveys in our public spaces and micro-engagement focus groups with underrepresented communities. We reviewed survey responses throughout the engagement period and made adaptions to events and schedule in order to boost response rates in underrepresented areas. Small group discussions were conducted with community stakeholders and partners on emerging survey themes. This diagram outlines the master plan framework. Livability, equity, and stewardship are the three value lenses that frame the plan goals and strategies. Feedback from the first survey and stakeholder conversations led to the prioritization of five overarching goals for what the Public Lands Master Plan should seek to achieve or improve. These goals will be used as an organizing framework for recommended strategies, practices, and actions. We are now at a stage in the plan development to express synthesis of initial ideas for public feedback. The plan vision is further expressed through 10 transformative projects that require great effort to achieve and a shift in how we operate. The projects range from local scale neighborhood park initiatives to large regional scale efforts to connect our mountains, city and lake. The following images help demonstrate examples of inspirational ideas. Transformative project number one just five minutes from here. A wayfinding and signage campaign that makes it easier to explore nearby parks, trails, and public spaces. Potential projects include, establish a multilingual signage and wayfinding program, initiate an information campaign and tools for learning about parks, activities, and recreation opportunities, Promote other public green space use like libraries and school grounds as part of a connected system. Number two, connect mountains to the lake. Complete missing links in the regional trails and invest in greenways 
to enhance nature and creeks within the city. Potential projects include connect trails from the eastern side of the Wasatch Mountains to the Foothills Natural Area, the Nine Line Trail to the Jordan River Parkway Trail, and west to the Salt Lake Marina and Mountains. Project ideas also include implement all remaining proposed trails, including the McClellan Trail, Folsom Trail, Surplus Canal Trails, and Foothills Trails. Begin to implement the Seven Greenways vision, creating a connected regional system of greenways along Salt Lake City's creeks, including locations to uncover creeks, add trails, improve natural habitat, and provide for recreation. Number three, reimagine neighborhood parks. Transform parks into vibrant community spaces that empower residents to contribute to their neighborhood identity. Potential projects include identify priorities for equitable park redevelopment. Engage neighbors in redesigning and adding activities to parks that reflect their interests, culture, and the character and history of the area. Promote volunteerism, donation, and adopt a park or friends groups. Number four, coming soon to a park near you. Help our parks, large and small, come alive with activities and events throughout the year. Potential projects include promote partnerships for arts, music, performance, fitness, urban agriculture, and games in the parks. Provide programming for nature-based education, volunteerism, outdoor recreation, and horticulture. Re-energize city parks and neighborhoods by adding concession operations that will generate revenues to reinvest in park improvements and repairs. Number five, meet me at the river. Invest in projects and maintenance along the Jordan River Parkway that will promote equity, access, scenic beauty, diverse recreation, and healthy ecology along the parkway. Potential projects include establish and integrate welcoming park spaces and landscaping along the river to foster community gathering and bring the river into focus as one of Salt Lake City's most desirable recreation destinations. Restore and enhance natural areas along the river for improved biodiversity, habitat, and healthy environment. Improve the former Glendale Water Park, Jordan Park, and the historic International Peace Gardens to create regional attractions and event space with characteristics that celebrate and preserve community culture and diversity. Establish a self-serve kayak rental program on the Jordan River, complete with multilingual signage and river access improvements to make water recreation accessible to more people. Number six, tell our stories. Reveal past and present stories from our diversity of experiences that have shaped this valley, giving focus to underrepresented and indigenous people. Express these stories through landscapes, structure, placemaking, and art. Initiate a storytelling project with partners to collect, share, and display stories relevant to public lands. Invest in restoring and interpreting iconic structures and landscapes, such as Allen Park, Fisher Mansion, and Warm Springs Park. Engage our local communities in identifying more meaningful names for our local parks. Seven, downtown comes alive outside. Increase the provision of green and active spaces downtown that will contribute to livability, inclusiveness, and economic vitality. Potential projects include 
invest in downtown Salt Lake City's Pioneer Park to create a vibrant destination for daily activities and events that serve the region. Reimagine downtown Salt Lake City's wide streets and key locations to create a green loop of trees and green space, pedestrian and bicycle friendly paths, and flexible space for pop-up festivals and recreation. Initiate creative projects and partnerships to integrate a network of large and small green areas and plazas into a mosaic of public outdoor spaces that become the foundation of an activated downtown. Grow Salt Lake City's downtown and central community park access where future growth is expected to be the highest in the city, yet has the least access to parks and trails. Eight, grow our urban forest. Build public awareness to support new tree stewardship that allows urban forestry to plant trees in all publicly owned landscapes. Potential projects include, launch a public awareness campaign to support new trees and their watering and care. Increase tree canopy cover to improve air quality and advance environmental equity in west side neighborhoods. Invest in tree planting within street projects. Maximize planting of appropriate trees on all our publicly owned landscapes, such as golf courses, parks, and street medians. Invest in the equipment and resources to responsibly reuse wood from trees removed from our urban forests to create usable wood products, such as mulch for parks, playgrounds, trails, and gardens. Number nine, welcome to the green. Invite appropriate alternative use of our public golf courses for greater benefit. Potential projects include introduce alternative recreation and activities on golf courses for general public recreation, such as walking paths and trails, concessions, off-leash dog walking, running races, cross-country skiing, or groomed sledding. Incorporate additional environmental benefits through tree plantings, diversifying vegetation, stormwater management, and nature centers in our golf courses. Rewild and preserve native plants and wildlife sanctuaries outside of playable golf areas. Expand golf's involvement in environmental protection by incorporating constructed stormwater wetlands in unplayable areas of our courses. Transformative Project 10, put environment first. Cultivate more biological diversity in parks and natural areas. Potential projects include Foster a robust native plant and pollinator habitat program that includes volunteer and educational opportunities operated out of public lands, greenhouses and plant farms. Hosts citywide education and engagement programs focused on environmental stewardship, citizen science and connection with the natural world through Salt Lake City's public spaces. Increase landscape resiliency to climate change by reclaiming degraded landscapes with beneficial plants, healthy soils, and habitat for birds and wildlife. We invite you to take a five minute survey to reflect on and affirm the refined goals and transformative projects inspired from community feedback. We wanna make sure to include goals and top projects endorsed by the public in the draft plan document later this year. Thank you for your time.